And new at six, we're hearing from a woman who saved an owl that nearly lost one of its wings. I want you to take a look at this severe injury. The bird got stuck in a barbed wire fence at a home in Killen. That's where Way 31 Scotty K spoke with one of the people who helped to rescue the animal. This is the fence where a woman saw an owl trap. Now, if you look closely enough, you can see there are still some feathers in the barbed wire, and the fence even had to be cut in order to save that owl. But the woman who helped rescue it tells me it was all worth it. Their eyes and how they act and how they bobble back and forth, they're just very pretty creatures. I mean, you, we hear them out here all the time hooting, but you don't ever see them. Kayla Smith's favorite animal is an owl. In fact, she's even decorated her home with them. So when she saw a bird in need on Monday and realized she could help, it was more than just a rescue to her. There's an owl. I'm going to get to hold it, you know, touch it. That's not very often. Smith was taking her kids to school when she saw something out of the corner of her eye. That something was the owl stuck on the fence. It has some pretty major damage to its wing. You could tell it was just holding on just by a thread. He was a pretty mangled up man. She immediately wanted to help, and while she says the owl didn't initially see it that way, she thinks it eventually realized what she was doing. Kind of coddled him a little bit and started rubbing his belly, and then his eyes started getting really heavy and just blinking like, oh, thank you for coming to help me. When I asked Smith why she stopped to help the animal, I was scared if I left him there, he would have died. And then I couldn't like let that happen just because he's endangered. After the rescue, the owl was taken to the vet where it was given warm fluids and stayed under a heat lamp. Smith tells me the owl is now recovering at a clinic in Birmingham. She says she plans to check on the owl frequently and will keep us updated with its condition. And of course, we'll pass that information on to you guys. Reporting in Killen, Scotty K, Way 31 News. Such a happy ending to the story. Well, Kayla did, had help in, did have help in that rescue. The owners of the fence and a passerby also assisted.